G'day guys and girls, my name's Jamie and welcome to another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine case study. Catching up with Scott, how you going bud? Good yourself? Good to see you mate. And we've also got Ian, our operator, how are you? Good, thanks Jamie. Fantastic. So look Scott, let's start with a little bit of information. What do you want to share with everybody at home about this beautiful Generation 8 dozer? This is our, our new PR756G8 Generation 8. And in this current configuration with the semi-U blade, multi-shank ripper, it's weighing in, in about uh, 42 tonne. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. And some pretty amazing technologies on board in terms of like traction delivery and power. What can you share with everyone a little bit about that? Yeah, we run uh, our own uh, engine, which is a, a Liebherr engine. It uh, is a six cylinder producing 374 horsepower, which is quite, quite impressive. Miles of power. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, um, we also have, uh, unlike our competitors, we, uh, we don't run a traditional transmission. We have uh, a hydrostatic drive on ours. So there's less wearing parts, moving parts, makes it a lot, lot cheaper to run. Awesome. And we're producing probably about uh, 25 litres of diesel per hour. I was going to say, really cheap. in terms of efficiencies, there's some pretty impressive numbers. Yeah, 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 exactly right. So great for the operator who's sitting in the cab too, right? It's not just the owners of the machine that are seeing those efficiencies, it's also the operators in the cab that are yes. going to be having a good time. Yeah, the comfort too, because we run uh, on all our machines, grammar air suspension seats. Yep. Um, and we do have a large nine inch LED monitor, which is nice and easy to read and, Beautiful. and, and, and touch. Beautiful. Well, I'm sure Ian's going to be able to give us uh, some great insights on that in a little bit. So look, why don't we do this? Why don't we let Ian jump on board? He can fire up the machine and come back, have a chat. We'll put the drone up, get some great footage and see how it went. Sounds good. Let's do it. I find this machine to be super comfort. It's got great ergonomics, uh, fully adjustable hand controls. Uh, noise in there is basically negligible. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a really quiet machine, comfort, it, uh, good vision. Perfect. I even went and had a sit in the chair. Uh, the air ride seat, beautiful up and down, and just the controls just felt very naturally placed, really easy to use. And they're fully adjustable, so if yep. you get someone who's maybe taller than myself, yep. they can adjust them further away. Awesome. If they're a little bit uh, a little bit shorter than myself, you can bring them in. Closer. Yeah, and Excellent. great foot rests. They're set on a little bit of an angle. They're not straight in line with the with the straight in front Excellent. of you, yep. but they're just set on a bit of an angle. Nice. And it's got a nice little one there in case you're going down a really steep hill and it's pulling you out of the seat. Beautiful. You can actually stick your foot on it and Beautiful. hold yourself in. So in terms of the actual controls, um, what did it feel like in terms of like the delivery of power and things like that? Well, this is the first time I've ever operated a machine this size, which is hydrostatic drive. Yes. Right, so the further you push the lever forward, the faster it goes. Yep. And there's three different speeds on there, so they're fully selectable. Yep. So you might have one to five in, in, um, in first gear, yep. and then that's your variable speed is one to five kilometers an hour. And then if you go up into the second speed, it'll be five to, um, I think the maximum speed overall is about 11 k's an hour. So Ian, who do you see this machine being perfect for? Well, large infrastructure projects, this would be great on quarrying, um, where they're ripping out um, rip rock and stuff like that, or sandstone. Yeah, basically any, any job that requires a machine to move vast amounts of dirt in great volumes. So ladies and gents, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And Ian, thank you so much for being our operator today. That's the way. And Scott, look, before we wrap up, was there anything that you wanted to mention one last little bit about the uh, awesome Generation 8 Liebert? I think we just mentioned it before, as how comfortable the machine is and, uh, and our reduced running costs with our service and, and, uh, and fuel consumption. Awesome, beautiful mate. So thanks again for coming down, good Thank to you. see you. And uh, for everybody at home, take fantastic care of each other on site out there. Stay really safe and we'll catch you soon.